It has been nearly a week now since the closure of the homeless encampment along the Bayside Trail in Portland. But with shelters in the city at capacity, those staying there say they have had to find new areas to call home. News Center main Sean Stackhouse takes us through what these unhoused individuals have been navigating. Just one week ago, this area behind Trader Joe's on the Bayside Trail in Portland was full of tents. Today, it's empty. Those who called this area home are figuring out where they go next. People say, why do you do all this? It's my home right now. For Kimmy Hart, right now, this is home. We didn't all choose this. You know, we didn't just one day, I didn't just say, oh, I just want to be homeless, you know. Hart is one of about 40 or so people living in this encampment at the park and ride on Marginal Way across from Diamond Street. Bruce Cavallero moved here after the Bayside encampment was closed too. You know, we're resilient, we're Mainers, we make it work. Cavallero and others here are still drying out clothes, sleeping bags and more after this weekend's downpour. Uh, my tent was destroyed um, in the rain, so I, uh, I had shorts and a poncho on most of the night. <laughs> On Monday morning, outreach workers from Milestone Recovery visited this encampment. Terry McGuire says they're still tracking down folks who had to leave the Bayside encampment to make sure they have food and the supplies they need. But now we have to go from place to place. There's still quite a few people we haven't located. Um, I know that we're trying to talk to each other, all the different you know organizations, and keep each other informed as to who's seeing who and who's doing what. And that's, uh, that's been a bit of a challenge. This encampment at the park and ride is on state owned property and the main DOT is aware and monitoring the encampment for safety concerns. Not knowing if or when they'll have to leave this spot, those experiencing homelessness here say what they need most is compassion. We're Mainers too and um, we just we just want to be treated like normal people. We're just down on our luck and you know most of us we, we want to work, we want to get a job, we want you know we want to do things. Uh, we just don't have a home right now. In Portland, Sean Stackhouse, News Center, Maine. The city of Portland says they are also aware of the encampment, but don't have any information because it is on Maine Department of Transportation property. Maine DOT's spokesperson wrote to News Center, Maine, saying in part, given its proximity to the interstate, the Maine Department of Transportation, along with the Maine Department of Public Safety, is monitoring the encampment and will work with other agencies as needed to ensure the safety of the unhoused individuals and the traveling public.